Zoho invoice tutorial how to create a business invoice hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how you can create your own professional online invoices for your business with zoho so let's get started first what you have to do is you will simply go to zoho.com and you will land right here so zoho has a lot of other platforms for us as well such as zoho crm zoho books so you will have to go to zoho.com slash invoice and you will get here now luckily zoho invoice is completely free and you get all of the features to keep track of your expenses to send payment reminders to create invoices log your work hours, and get paid faster all of the features and tools are available for free so how to get started you will simply enter your first name right here email address password and company name this is like a new password that you will create simply click on i agree and sign up for free once you sign up this is where you will get you can see this is my zoho invoice and i will be able to create my invoices right here let me show you around the dashboard so you can see right here this is my basic dashboard that i'm getting and i will be able to get my insights right here stats and also a quick create option that allows me to create a customer item estimate or invoice very quickly then we also get different dashboards for each of these different tools such as items so in items i will be able to create a new item then we have customers where i will be creating my different customers then we have estimates invoices sales receipts payment received and expenses we also get our own timesheet and reports option with zoho so without any further ado let me actually get to all of these different tools one by one let's create a customer first simply click on this plus icon and it will allow you to create a new customer you will simply have to enter all of the details right here so you will simply select if it's a business or an individual well this is an individual simply enter their first name last name company name display name email address and then you can also enter the other information such as the currency so for this client the currency is going to be euros and then we have tax rate these are different optional um, settings that we can do we can also enter their social media simply click on save and a new client is saved and you can see right here this is a client that i created and this is their currency right here this is the name now i can simply enter comments for them i can add you know write transactions right here i will be able to check the invoices expenses everything for this particular client right here uh, when i will open it up i will be able to check everything then we have mails the mails that i have sent them or any mails that i have received and then we have statements so this is how you simply create a, a customer right here in zoho invoice um all of the features and tools are available and it's completely free so zoho is really impressive to be honest and then we can go to new transaction and i can simply go ahead and create a new invoice very quickly for this client right here uh, but for now i will actually show you one by one uh, let's go to items and create a new item how to create a new item you can simply click on this plus icon and now you have to select if it's a goods or services it's a service enter their name the name of the item and then you have to select the unit what's the unit of your um we can say pieces and then we have to select the selling price and tax once you have added all the details you simply click on save and your new item is created so you can see right here now this is my item and whenever i will select this item for any of the contact then this is going to be the price i can actually go ahead and create another one so now i have two items right here and again i can go to more and clone an item if i want to mark as inactive or delete from more options right here then we have transactions and history then we have estimates and invoices so now let's go to the invoice option and create a new invoice for our you know client that i want to send to now you can see this is where we create an invoice it's very easy what you have to do is first of all select the customer so i'm going to select a customer that i just created you can create a brand new customer from this option too and it will again take you to the customer option that i just showed you 
we're going to select this customer right here. Then we have to select the invoice name. So this is like the first invoice that I'm creating. Then we have our own order name. If you have any, you can select it. Then we have the invoice date. It's really important to select a date. So I'm going to select the date for today. You can also add different terms such as the recipient, the net um, invoice or anything if you want to. We can add a due date. So the due date is going to be till Sunday. There you go. After that, we have salesperson. If you have assigned this task to a particular salesperson in your team, then you can manage them from here. But I did not do that. So I'm not going to add this option. Then we have subject. So this is really important to add a subject. So I'm going to write a subject for sessions let's call them recent sessions and now here we have to select an item so you will simply click right here to select the item you have two items right here like the ones i created you can create a brand new item from here or select from the items that you already created so i created two items right i'm going to select this one so this was the item and now the quantity was actually two and you can see that i have added the item and the price on the item was in my currency but they have actually changed the currency to client's currency so that they will have a better idea. So it is automatic. And for them, it is going to be 25 euros. And for me, it's going to be like, you know, in my currency, another amount. So it's two. So it's going to be like 50 euros for them. You can see right here, this is the rate. This is the current rate uh, for the conversion. So this is really impressive. Now I can add another one. Let's add another item. And this time I'm going to go for services and it was actually their four team members and then i'm going to select this one so this is going to be the total price and after that you just have if you want to add another line uh, we have three lines right here okay the third one is not being used so i'm going to just keep to two lines because we have two items if you want to create another one you simply select this option and you have a new line to add to you can also select a tax or if you have any discount so let's say that they actually bought five and I have a discount when somebody buys five sessions. So I'm going to select euros and in euros, I'm going to give them it's 75, but I will take 70. So I'm going to give them a discount of five euros and they can just pay me 70. There you go. I have refreshed it and now I have 70 euros for them. So I have kind of like given them a discount for five euros. Then we have our own payment methods right here. If you want to add them, once you have added all of the details all you have to do is you have to click on save as draft if you want to send it later or you can click on save and send and it will be sent to the email that you have added we can also upload any file if we want to but for now i do not have any file we can actually go ahead and print it as well or save it later to share later but i'm gonna save it to draft because this is just an invoice that i created for you guys so you can see this is the look for our invoice and it looks super professional we have invoice one this is going to be the rate and this is the total this is the amount you can see right here this is what they have to pay me and now i can edit it out i can edit the mail information share it or print it if i want to and after that similarly we can create estimates from this option right here you can create a new estimate and seal the deal then we have our sales receipts if you want to create them you can simply click on new receipt option and then it allows you to create a new receipt you simply enter a customer name and again you simply select an item you simply this is really good for receipts here you simply select an item so i'm going to quickly do that let's go ahead and select the item this one and there you go we have our own receipts created i can print it out i can send them online for maybe an online payment then we have payment received option and we can simply go ahead and upload our invoices right here to our payment record and another option that we get is the report option. So if I go to report, I will be able to check my reports for my customer balances, for my um, expenses, for my activity. Everything will be shown in the report option and I don't have to, you know, worry about anything. Everything will be stored here. So yeah, guys, this is how you use Zoho Invoice for your online invoicing and expenses. It's a really good platform that allows you to manage your business, create your own uh, invoices and keep everything in balance, keep track of your budget, everything and helps you grow your business. If I were a big help, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.